Hello and welcome to the Hart Women's Basketball Media Day. Uh, next up, we are joined by Culver Stockton College. Uh, we're here from the Wildcats as they get ready for the upcoming season. Let's start with introductions. Um, Addison, go ahead, introduce yourself, name, hometown, and year in school. Hi, I'm Addison Newbon. I'm a sophomore this year and I'm from Decatur, Illinois, and my major is business administration. Okay. Coach, your turn. Um, name and, and how many years you've been head coach of the program? Jeanette Bergen, I've been here uh, for 10 seasons, getting ready to start my 10th season right now. Very good. Coach, we'll start with you. Um, tell us about Addison and, and her importance to your program. Addison's a big key to our program. Um, I know coming in as a freshman, it's, it's really hard for uh, any any player to get accustomed to new coaches, new style of play and things like that. I think she did a tremendous job last year. Um, so just having that experience as a freshman coming into her sophomore year is extremely vital, especially when we have a very young group uh, coming in this year as well. Uh, we only have actually three seniors. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, we're, we're going to rely on her a lot just because of the, the pure experience that she had last year. Um, even though there were some highs, there were some lows, and uh, I'm sure that she was very frustrated frustrated with me at, at times. Um, but, you know, I think that uh, we, we talked in the postseason about some, some goals that uh, I think that she did a tremendous job this summer working on, as well as some of our other players. And it's already noticing already on the floor, you know, and that makes a big difference when you have players like Addison that are bought in uh, to what we're, we're trying to preach in a program. Um, and in, it starts with her uh, just because uh, – not just because she was our leading scorer, but she she has passion, and it shows on the floor. Uh, when you have players that have passion, uh, such as herself and a couple of the other young ladies, um, I think they feed off of that, and I think she's done a tremendous job so far this year. And Addis, Addison, um, you know, tell us your major is business administration. Um, you know, what are some career plans for you maybe after basketball? I know you have a few years left, but what are some things you're kind of thinking about as you progress as a student athlete? Um, I'm not completely set on what exactly I want to do, but some ideas that I have is maybe being in like HR or somewhere in that type of business. So Addison, it's early in in the preseason, just, you know, a practice or two that have that have gone by so far. But, you know, how excited are you and your teammates to get started and come together as a team the next few weeks? Um, I'm really excited. Uh, the beginning of seasons always exciting, especially when you have like a new team and you get to learn and become friends with all your new teammates and everything. And we have a lot of time to grow together to become a strong team this year. Coach, let's, let's uh, talk about your team. Um, you know, who are some returners back this year for you? A couple, uh, we have well, just about everybody we lost, uh, just a very few. We have Addison, obviously, coming back. So we have Katie Webb. Uh, she didn't start for us, but uh, made a big impact inside the post. Um, as well as Aaliyah Ortiz as a point guard uh, coming back. We're super excited to have her just to set the tone. And I think that last year was a lot of, a lot of highs and lows just because we're learning each other from, from a lot of different backgrounds of, of playing styles. Um, so so seeing those those three right away uh, come together. And then Olivia Hawk did to play a ton last year. Um, you know, she had a, a tough freshman year, but we're super excited to have her coming back uh, as a sophomore. We expect a lot out of her this year um, as well. So those those four in particular, obviously very young. Three of them were freshmen last year, but going into the sophomore year. Um, and then Aaliyah just has a little bit more experience coming from junior college. Um, but I think that with those four core players right away, I think we can do some some damage. And then also I'm just super excited uh, the fact that they're just bought into what we're trying to do. And I think that, like I said, when you have a young group, uh, the buy-in is so, so, so vital. Um, and I'm extremely proud of those four. You know, Coach, you still have quite a few weeks to kind of get ready. Then you'll hit the non-con. You know, what do you hope to see from your team in that non-con season, you know, before you get started in the heart? Yeah, it, it's huge for us. Um, you know, like I said, I'll, I'll continue to repeat myself in the sense that we have a young team. We still have a young team. Um, a lot of new faces. Uh, we brought in several uh, that either have one year uh, of eligibility left or they're brand new freshmen. Um, so getting getting on the floor and really seeing uh, the chemistry build is going to be big. Um, but it's no different from year to year. 
Uh, what I always preach is our defense has to dictate what we do on the floor. Um, if, if we're not playing great defense, then we're not going to be a very good team. Uh, so defensively is what we're going to stress early and, and often uh, making sure that we're taking care of business on that side of the floor to where our defense creates our offense. You know, like you mentioned, Coach, you're going into year 10 at Culver, so you know the heart well. You know, you've seen a lot of the programs. Um, I'd like to get your thoughts on, like, the different styles of basketball. Have you seen a lot of change, you know, throughout the, the last 10 years, and does it change year to year? You know, I think it does. There, there's generations that, um, that are a little bit more advanced than others, um, but I, I think that this year especially – uh, coming back from, I mean, when you're talking about COVID here, everybody had uh, a little bit different. You're having fifth year players now. I think that our conference as a whole uh, going into this year is going to be solid, which um, doesn't excite me, but at the same time, it does excite me. It's just the competition. The competition at our level is, is extremely high right now. Um, and I'm, I'm excited to see those teams play just as much as my own. Um, but the, the heart of America is where need to be right now if, if you're outside looking in um, we're pretty excited uh, that uh, I, th I really think that we could have five or six teams get to the national tournament again this year I think that uh, just shows the attest of the, the work ethic that all these young ladies put put in yes and talking about the heart of America conference as a whole um, you know what's it like for you as a student athlete your teammates you know night in night out competing in such a tough conference um, I think it's exciting. I love having hard competition. I feel like it makes us better. And I feel like our uh, conference is very competitive. Um, Addison, what has it meant to you to be able to continue to play the sport you love um, at Culver Stockton? Uh, it means a lot. Playing college basketball was always like in my mind. That's what I wanted to do. So I'm glad I'm able to do it here and that I'm happy while I'm doing it. You know, for fans that maybe haven't been to Canton, Missouri, or, or visited campus, Addison, um, you know, tell us about campus and, and the Canton, Missouri community. Uh, Canton's a really small town, but it's a great community. It feels like home here, and that's one of the reasons why I decided to come here, because it was just such a comfortable place to be. And the fan settings at games are great as well. Coach, just a couple more questions. Um, you know, what will it take from your squad to maybe reach your goals this year, uh, move up heart, in the heart standings? What are some things that, you know, will will make that happen for your team? Absolutely. We haven't talked a, a ton about our, our team goals yet, um, but always as a program goal is uh, we got to get back in the top eight. You know, I think if we uh, – our defense is at a high level, we'll have no problem getting into the top eight, get to the conference tournament. I um, mean, really – we just got to take it one, one day at a time, one game at a time, one practice at a time, you know. Um, and it's a build-up. You know, if we're extremely good right this second, um, that also really scares me going into uh, January, February, because what, what else do we have to want? You know, I, we want to be able to play our best basketball down the stretch. Um, and that's what our, our team is looking for. And with the, the youth that we have, if we can continue to build uh, throughout the season, day at a time, one practice at a time. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind that we'll be up in that top eight. Um, so that's definitely one of our goals that we, we want to get back to that point uh, of competing for uh, a chance to get a title. Um, it, it's going to be hard. It's going to be competitive, but we can do it. But also the other areas are just small things. Um, we got to be able to win the free throw line. we got to be able to uh, win the rebound wars. Um, if we can do those two things, I think this will Will equal itself out um, on the on the scoreboard. Um, uh, but yeah, the big one is going to be just making sure that we're taking it one day at a time, we're not getting too far ahead of ourselves. And coach, we asked Addison about you know what Culver Stockton College means to her. How about you as a coach? You've been there a decade now. You know what does Culver Stockton College mean to you? Yeah, it, you know it, it means a lot. You know, I wouldn't be here for a decade. It seems crazy that it's been that long, honestly. Um, but being in the heart since uh, 2010, and I've loved being in the heart. You know, it's a competitive uh, conference. It's uh, It's been a special place. Uh, I do love the fact that uh, we don't have, yes, we have rules, regulations, and things like that in the NAI, but um, I just feel like it's much more of a family atmosphere here, not just at Clover Second, but in the NAI. But 
honestly, the, the community out of Cincinnati the best. It's a small community, yes, but they they have our backs. They want us to be successful as a women's basketball program, and that is uh, pretty special. You don't get that a lot of places uh, where women's basketball is one of your top two, if not uh, one of your top sports on campus um, in the community. And if our crowds, our crowds show it, you know, and then they have our backs. And that's one of the reasons why I've been here so long. Um, and they're passionate. I'm passionate for them. And hopefully we can continue to build this thing into something better. Coach, last, last question for you. Um, we've asked every head coach the same question, but what's, what's the first thing that comes to mind when you hear Heart of America women's basketball? I don't want to play them, <laughs> truly. I mean, uh, when you're talking about big picture, big scheme of everything, it's the conference is loaded. Uh, we have a lot of talented young ladies, um, and it just shows on the floor when you're putting a high level every single single day we get a lot of transfers within our conference as well um so you gotta be, you gotta show up it's not one of those that you can just walk into the old gym and heart of america and just be like yep we're gonna get this game um it's competitive every every school is um and that's what makes women's basketball in the heart of america amazing and you don't want to play us so oh very good well, Coach, thank you so much for your time. Addison, thank you for joining us. Uh, best of luck to both of you this year, and we look forward to seeing the Wildcats play here in a couple of weeks. Awesome. Thank you so much, Sean. Yeah. I appreciate it.